Welcome back to Sustainable Sense. I'm your host, and today we're delving into the captivating realm of futures contracts. Welcome to Sustainable Sense, where we invest in climate defense. You're in for our hot take on all things money, markets, and the environment. A futures contract is an agreement to buy or sell a particular commodity, asset, or security at a predetermined price at a specific time in the future. Unlike traditional stock trading, futures contracts require traders to deposit an initial amount of capital, known as margin. A margin is a security deposit required by the exchange or the broker to ensure that traders fulfill their obligations in the futures market. The key players in driving this market are hedgers and speculators. Hedgers are participants seeking to mitigate risks associated with price fluctuations in their underlying assets or commodities. They include farmers, manufacturers, importers, exporters, and other entities such as hedge fund managers that are exposed to price volatility. Consider a corn farmer anticipating a bumper harvest in a few months. While optimistic about the yield, they're concerned that a surplus in the market might drive down corn prices, eroding their profits. To safeguard against this risk, the farmers enter into a futures contract to sell a specified amount of corn at a predetermined price in the future. By doing so, they lock in a favorable price, ensuring a stable income regardless of market fluctuations. On the other hand, hedge fund managers who manage your funds may use future contracts to hedge portfolios against potential losses in the stock market. By buying future contracts, they can protect their portfolios from downside risk by offsetting with the rise in future contracts. On the other side of the spectrum, we have speculators. These individuals or entities enter the futures market not to manage risk, but to profit from the price movements. They analyze market trends, economic indicators, and other factors to make informed bets on the direction of the prices. As you can see, it is a bit risky. Let's say a hedge fund manager predicts a surge in oil prices due to geopolitical tensions. They might purchase futures contracts for crude oil, expecting prices to rise in the coming months. If their prediction holds true and the oil prices indeed climb, the manager earns a profit by selling the contracts at higher prices than they paid. However, if prices move against their expectation, they incur losses. There are many types of futures markets. The first being agricultural futures. Picture a coffee producer in Brazil worried about a sudden drop in coffee prices before their harvest. They can use future contracts to lock in their selling prices, securing their revenue even if coffee prices decline in the coming months. For energy futures, consider an airline company concerned about rising fuel costs impacting its profitability. A tie back to climate change here too. By purchasing future contracts at a specific price, possibly lower than the future anticipated price increase for jet fuel, the airline can hedge against future price hikes, ensuring stable operating expenses regardless of fluctuations in oil prices. There's also something called metal futures. Think of a construction company needing steel for an upcoming project. To mitigate the risk of steel price hikes, they can enter into futures contracts, fixing the purchase price for the next month and safeguarding their budget from unexpected cost increases. This is good for both the construction companies because they get the steel at a price possibly lower than the increased price. You might also wonder how this situation can benefit the steel manufacturer. This contract can help them by guaranteeing a steady revenue in spite of price increases. Basically, futures hedge against price volatilities. Now here's where it's going to get interesting with currency futures. Suppose a multinational corporation based in the United States expects to receive payment in euros six months from now. To protect against potential losses due to a weaker euro, they can use currency futures to lock in the exchange rate, ensuring a predetermined amount of dollars for their euro earnings. Along that note, there's also financial futures. Let's say an investor wants to profit from the anticipated rise in the stock market. They can buy futures contracts without directly purchasing individual stocks. But how does that even work? Let's explore financial futures in a little bit more detail. Financial futures let you make bets on the future value of assets like stock indices or individual stocks without needing to buy them up front. Let's say today's date is May 26, 2024, and you want to bet on the future value of the S&P 500 index, which is currently at 4,000 points. 
Remember, the S&P 500 index tracks the performance of 500 large cap stocks listed on the U.S. stock market, and points are assigned based on the underlying stock performances. Each index point is assigned a dollar value. For this example, let's say that's one dollar. So one futures contract in the S&P 500 index, which is currently at 4,000 points, is valued at $4,000. You think the S&P 500 will go up, so you decide to buy a futures contract on it. You buy one futures contract expiring on June 30th, 2024 at a price of $4,000 per contract, investing $4,000. Over time, leading up to June 30th, 2024, the S&P 500 index goes up to 4,200 points. Before the futures contract expires on June 30th, 2024, you decide to close your position. You sell the futures contract at the new price of $4,200 per contract. When you bought the futures contract, it was worth $4,000. Now it's worth $4,200. So by selling it, you made a profit of $200. This example shows how you can profit from financial futures by betting on the future value of stock indices like the S&P 500 with a specific expiration date in mind. You don't actually have the stocks, but you're simply selling the contract. Weird, right? You can also trade on futures in a single stock. Let's say today's date is May 26, 2024, and you want to bet on the future value of shares in Apple Inc ticker symbol AAPL, which are currently trading at $150 per share. You believe that Apple's stock price will rise, so you decide to buy a single stock futures contract on Apple. Each futures contract represents 100 shares of Apple, so one Apple contract is $15,000. You buy one futures contract expiring on June 30th, 2024 at a price of $15,000 per contract. An interesting thing about futures contracts is that you don't have to invest the entire $15,000 up front. You only pay a percentage of the contract value as a security deposit called a margin. But you get to control the entire value of the contract. Over time, leading up to June 30th, 2024, the price of Apple shares goes up to $170 per share. Before the futures contract expires on June 30th, 2024, you decide to close your position, meaning that you sell the futures contract at the new price of $17,000 per contract. When you bought the futures contract, it was worth $15,000, and now it's worth $17,000. So by selling it, you've made a profit of $2,000. And there you have it. You've made some profit just by betting. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us on Sustainable Sense as we've explored the captivating world of futures contracts. Today, we've delved into how these agreements provide a mechanism to buy or sell commodities, assets, or securities at a set price in the future, offering both opportunities and risks for market participants. Anyway, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram at Sustainable Sense Podcast, or reach out to us on Gmail at Sustainable Sense Podcast at gmail.com. Again, that's sustainable sense podcast at gmail.com. We love hearing from our listeners and cannot wait to get to know more of you. Until next time, this is your host signing off. And as always, invest your sense in climate defense.